Welcome to Tython, Padawan. Everyone at the temple is looking forward to meeting you. The Jedi Council will assign you a new master to oversee your final trials. You'll be tested in ways you can't imagine. But when you leave Tython, you'll know what it means to be a Jedi Knight. I'm eager to face these trials. Where do I start? There's a speeder here that will take you to... Hang on. Getting an emergency signal. Flesh Raiders? Armed with blasters? I'm sending every able-bodied Jedi down to the Padawan training grounds right away. Go! I'll catch up with you after I alert the Jedi Council. May the Force be with you. You're unharmed. Good. Flesh Raider shot me in the leg while I was rescuing some Padawans. I'll push back the enemy, whatever it takes. Another Padawan found a cave tunnel the Flesh Raiders used to enter this valley. I need you at that tunnel, making sure the Flesh Raiders don't get any more reinforcements through it. I'll find this cave tunnel and seal it. Stop struggling, Padawan. Your life was over the moment you set foot here. What's this all about? You are dangerous. You killed my soldiers. Lay down your weapons. I don't want to hurt you. The old order is dead. Long live the new order. You two all right? What happened here? Forgot that you ought to end here. Thank the force that you're both safe. This man's no Jedi. This lightsaber. There's something familiar about it. Strange. You held off all these attackers by yourself with only a practice saber. Impressive. I followed my instincts. That's all. You seem all right to travel along. Report to the Jedi Council. See you there. I searched the Temple Archives. This Force user leading the Flesh Raiders never received Jedi training. And the Sith have found us. Shouldn't we get ready for them? Calm yourself, Padawan. We can't be certain of anything yet. But we've all sensed a growing darkness. Perhaps it's finally revealed itself. Someone want to bring me up to speed? We're just having a nice end-of-the-world chat. Everyone, this is the Padawan who saved our people in the training grounds. This is Master Kiwix and her extremely vocal Padawan, Kira. The other masters are transmitting from distant worlds. It's unfortunate our numbers are scattered. Indeed. The temple's safety is unexpectedly threatened. The man leading the Flesh Raiders probably wasn't acting alone. Much of Tython remains unexplored, and we have few resources to spare. I'll handle it, with the help of my new Padawan. Orgus, you haven't taken a Padawan since Coruscant. The Force is strong in him, stronger than I've seen in decades. I can think of no finer master to complete this Padawan's training. I'll complete my final trials once we've dealt with the Flesh Raiders. That is what you should aspire to, Kira. You'll find supplies in my chambers downstairs. Go equip yourself. I'll meet you there. Uh, blast those council meetings. I'd die of old age before my colleagues ran out of things to say. This situation has come to you fast. You're braving dangers many Jedi never face. I wouldn't blame you for having questions. This may be the only time to ask them. I'll make sense of things later. Let's find our enemy. I know people who can help. There's a group of Twi'lek pilgrims on Tython. They've been fighting the Flesh Raiders for months. The Twi'leks have a settlement in the mountains. That's your next stop. Establish a base camp and speak to the Matriarch. I'll join you soon. May the Force be with you. Greetings, Matriarch. Master Orgas Din has sent me to help you fight the Flesh Raiders. My scouts have tracked the Flesh Raiders for months. Watch them grow in strength. I will share what we've discovered. But only if you agree to protect my people, we... We suffer. Mother, you need rest. Let me carry this burden for you. This is my daughter, Rana Dalven. She and Scout Chief Morint here will speak for me. I must attend to... Other matters. Personally, I don't care why you've come. As long as you destroy the Flesh Raiders. We need to strike fear into the Flesh Raiders. Sabotage their weapons. Fix it so they blow up in their ugly faces. If you brought that technology here, 
We could defend ourselves with those weapons. My people aren't afraid to fight for their homes. We just lack the means. Good luck, Master Jedi. Once they have all this, the Twi'leks can defend themselves. What made the Flesh Raiders bring you back here? Teach our soldiers how to use these weapons. Train them on the Twi'lek invaders. When will we strike against the Jedi? Patience, Caliph. The Jedi will fall when our army reaches full strength. never understood the need for restraining bolts anyway. This droid says he works for the Jedi. Is that true? Yes, he's one of our long-range probes. While I deal with a droid, talk to Rana. With the weapons and technology you brought from the Flesh Raiders, my people can defend themselves. Scouts report that the Flesh Raider forces are gathering in strength. They already control the mountains around us. And now they're invading the ruins of Kaleth. Kaleth was a great city of Force users. Its ruins hold powers we still don't understand. The Flesh Raiders are looking for something there. We can't let them find it. Drive back those Flesh Raiders immediately. I have to take this droid back to the Council. Yeah. Go peacefully, or face the consequences. This is your only warning. <laughs> Master Orgus sent us. We came as quickly as we could. One of the Flesh Raiders I just fought called me Jedi. He could use the Force. That's troubling. If the Flesh Raiders are learning the ways of the Force, it won't be on the side of light. You sure made short work of this bunch. You ever leave survivors? When was the last time you fought someone trying to kill you? Besides my master? Eh, a few months. This is no laughing matter, Padawans. This Flash Raider carried a holocron, a repository of knowledge created by a Force user. Thousands of years old from the looks of it. Master Orgus was right. These natives are more advanced than we realized. They're learning how to fight us. I wish we could stay, see this through, but Master Satil has ordered us to Coruscant on a special mission. All those bad feelings the Council's been having? She thinks the Republic capital is the source. I'm sorry to have to leave you, but the danger is past. May the Force be with you, Padawan. Master Kiwix told me what you found in Kaleth. A flesh raider who used the Force. She thought he was learning things from an old holocron. I wish that were true. The man who attacked you when you first arrived, his lightsaber had a familiar aspect. This droid's holo recording confirmed my suspicions. The hooded figure in that recording is named Bengo Moore. He was my Padawan, but he never completed his training. Bengo was in the Jedi Temple on Coruscant when the Sith destroyed it. He has to be stopped. Apologies for keeping you waiting. My scouts have identified a Flesh Raider command base in the mountains. It's protected by an energy shield. That command base is probably coordinating all the attacks in the region. I need to get inside there. You up for knocking out the power generator? Hmm. You must be the Padawan who slaughters my people. Your misguided attacks change nothing. You should have surrendered to the inevitable. Every so-called Jedi on Tython is going to die. Enjoy this little victory. It's your last. Finally put the Flesh Raider base out of commission. At the Flesh Raider command base, I found coordinates to a number of secret camps. One camp is in the ruins of Upper Kaleth. That patrol you fought earlier was based there. Now's your chance to finish them off. Flesh Raider camps out of commission, Master, but they were all Force users. Just got a distress call from the Twi'lek settlement. They spotted Bengal Moor. I'm on my way to the settlement. Meet me there. Master Orgus responded to your distress call. I was to meet him here. What's happened? Nothing. We didn't send any distress call. 
Things have been quiet since you left. I haven't seen or spoken to Master Orgus. I'm sure it's a misunderstanding. Your master will turn up. Why don't you stay a while? You must be exhausted. Stop it! What are you doing? Handing over the boy's master wasn't enough. This Padawan has to die. I told you to leave him alone. That was the pact. Bengalmore refused your terms. This is to save our people. You don't want to hurt anyone. You want to leave here peacefully. I... I don't want to hurt anyone. We should leave here peacefully. Yes, better that way. This was all a terrible mistake. It wasn't supposed to be like this. You gave my master to the enemy. No, you can still save him. Bengalmore took Orgus to someplace called the Forge. I sensed you coming. Your fear betrayed you. You're weak, like my old master. You're not hurting anyone else, Bengal. It's over. No, the will of the Force guided me here for justice. You weren't on Coruscant. You never saw our greatest cut down or watched the temple burn. I escaped that destruction to see my own master surrender to the Sith. The weak will be sacrificed here to make the Forge stronger. The Jedi Order must be reborn from ashes. You've won. Why has the Force guided me to this defeat? I understand. You are the weapon I came to forge. You'll get the help you need, Bengal. But you can't leave here. Better one. I must have you to thank for being alive. I captured Bengal Moore, Master. He's resting quietly. You've done a great thing. He deserves a second chance. You, however, faced a challenge beyond any trial I could assign. All that's left is for you to enter the forge and construct your own lightsaber. I'm tremendously honored. I'll carry Bengal back to the Jedi Temple and get him help. Meet me there when you're ready. This weapon will be a light in the darkness. could have been devastated. The entire order is in your debt, Padawan. This young Jedi captured a fallen member of our order and saved this temple from destruction. You arrived on Tython a Padawan, but you leave a Knight of the Republic. May the Force be with you. I promise to uphold every standard of the Jedi and Galactic Republic. We're getting a priority signal from Coruscant. It's Master Kiwix. Master Orgus, everyone. I've discovered a situation requiring further assistance. Our suspicions about Coruscant were correct. The dark presence we have long sensed is strongest here. Something malignant works in the shadows of the capital. We must find it. This situation calls for our very best. Master Orgus, you and your former pupil should join Master Quix on Coruscant. Come to the Senate Tower as soon as you can. Master Quix, out. No rest for us, my friend. I'll leave immediately, Master. Farewell. The Force will be with you. Always. Heard about your shuttle trip. Wish I'd been there. Tell me what's happening. You remember Master Kiwix in Padawan Kira? This is General Varsuthra and Dr. Eli Tarnas. 
We're discussing why the Republic secretly built a planetary-scale weapon without consulting the Jedi. My work barely qualifies as a weapon. It's the most humane military technology ever invented. With a single activation, the planet prison supercharges a world's upper atmosphere, turning it into an enormous ion cannon. Any starship entering or leaving the planet will be completely disabled. Have you tested this planet prison's safety? We're about to begin field testing when this pointless debate started. Regardless, you've allowed the planet prison's design files to be stolen by common criminals. I doubt the thieves even realize what they have. Besides, the data is encrypted. Master Kiewix and I must speak with the Supreme Chancellor. I need you here finding those design files. I won't let you down. You stay as well, Kira. Your security expertise may come in handy. General, we have a lead on the thieves. This is Agent Galen with the Strategic Information Service. Agent, these young Jedi will assist you. Thirty-two hours ago, thieves raided a military storehouse. They stole weapons, supplies, and data files for the Planet Prison Project. The thieves' leader slipped up, showed his face to a security camera. We identified him from our criminal database. Vistus, Rodian smuggler staying with the so-called Migrant Merchants Guild. The Guild is a violent, well-armed criminal cartel. Invading their headquarters is something only a Jedi could pull off. Oh dear. I really must go sit down. Excuse me. Agent, let's use your fancy security network to distract those gangsters. Give my friend and the thief some quality time. Good luck. I'll use Agent Galen's fancy terminal to clear a path inside the Guild's headquarters. Have fun. Patonka, chisa bicha wanki chi atocha. Hagwa bontagu, chubalong haku. Agent Galen, I believe I've found our thief. Get the stolen design files and hurry back. We've had a major security breach. I'll return as quickly as possible. Leave now and never come back. Eniki! I got your files, but the thief transmitted a decrypted copy to Black Sun. While you were gone, kidnappers grabbed Dr. Tarnas. Kira led a security team in pursuit, but the kidnappers split up during the chase. Hang on. Signal coming in. Agent Galen, I've got these creeps pinned down, but they won't surrender. I don't know how long I can hold them. She needs backup. Tell me where to find her. Kira's signal came from the spaceport. The kidnappers may try taking the doctor off-world. Hurry! Just in time. These guys get points for courage, but we're a little outnumbered. There's more than a few trigger-happy thugs in that docking bay. The kidnappers are threatening to kill Dr. Tarnas, but they might be bluffing. I'm not even sure they have him. Are they open to the possibility of surrender? Tried negotiating with a leader. He shot at me. Very rude. So, how do we handle this? I say we bust in their weapons drawn and see what happens. Give me a second to paint a target on my forehead. I borrowed a stealth field generator from Agent Galen's office. Makes me practically invisible. I can sneak in first, then when you attack, I'll take a few thugs by surprise. What do you think? That suits me just fine. Great. Now you see me, now you don't. I'll get into position and attack on your signal. Let's rescue as a doctor. Jedi scum! I'll kill you! Someday! He sure killed my stealth field generator. Oh well. It was fun while it lasted. Isn't teamwork grand? You handled yourself like a true Jedi, Kira. Wait, I need a hollow of that. I want to play it back for Master Coix. No sign of Dr. Tarnas. Kinda puts a damper on things. We were the decoys. Now you'll never see your little doctor again. Is that so? Give me a minute with this guy. I'll make him talk. Nothing else, this will be entertaining. Thanks for the encouragement. Thing is, we don't need him to talk. Not when I can just read his mind. What? Stop that! Get out of my head! Get out! The doctor's in the Black Sun headquarters. Salar has him. Just leave me alone. Cheap thugs will believe anything. I can't read your mind, stupid. 
You... you tricked me! Smooth, Kira. Very smooth. Black Sun is a major crime syndicate. Whatever they want with Tarnas, we'd better save him quick. Me and my security detail will clean this up. Agent Galen will want to hear about this. I'll handle this. You should report to Agent Galen. Dr. Tarnas is the least of our worries, General. The stolen data files had details, not only on the planet prison, but every weapon prototype and research facility in existence. We must act quickly to secure these other weapons. Where are they? Three off-world research facilities. Master Kiewicz and I will split up and protect two. And I'll take the third one. You get the fun part. Rescuing Dr. Tarnas and the copied data files from Black Sun. We'll be back in time for dinner. Kira will stay behind too. With Agent Galen leaving, her computer talents will be needed. She can be impulsive, but give her a chance. You'll make a good team. She's rough around the edges, but I like her. She struggles with emotional attachments, as many young Jedi do. Be mindful of that. We should go. May the Force be with us all. Before I go, I'm putting all my resources at your disposal. Go to these coordinates. Talk to Sergeant Nidaljo. He can help you rescue Dr. Tarnas and get those copied data files. You've been of tremendous assistance. Thank you. Kira's on our way. I'll get her plugged into our security network before I leave. Good luck. Corporal, get a culto pack on that man. Agent Galen sent me. What's happened? Black Sun. We were securing a perimeter around their base for you. They hit back with military-grade weapons. Killed six of my men. You'll need to take down the base's security network so we can get inside. Once the network's down, we'll attack the back entrance. You take the front. I'll see you on the inside. Tarnas, we risked everything for you. Stealing those data files, faking your kidnapping. This is how you repay us? You were compensated with enough weapons and armor to make Black Sun invincible. Invincible? There's a Jedi carving up my base! This is your fault. We never should have trusted a Sith. If a Jedi has come for you, Salar, it wasn't my doing. I thought your kidnapping was a little too convenient. I would have preferred a more graceful exit, but your masters forced my hand. I have no time for this nonsense. Finish your pointless battle. Coruscant's fate is already sealed. Surrender, you scum! We got you surrounded! Kill them all! Can't believe it! We just took down Salar. Black Sun will have reinforcements here soon. Any sign of the man you came to rescue? There you are. We intercepted Salar's holocaul to Tarnas. Can't believe he's a Sith. But that's not the worst news. The planet prison prototype here at the lab? A fake. Tarnas stole the real planet prison. Trace that holocaul you intercepted. Use it to locate our Sith base of operations. Already working on it. We need you back at the Senate Tower. Kira out. General Varsuth was in a panic. Maybe you can calm him down. A Sith. Working as my chief scientist. How can I defend the Republic if I can't trust my own people? Tarnas' entire engineering team vanished along with the Planet Prison. Tarnas will use the Planet Prison against Coruscant. He could trap us here forever. Paralyze the Republic by holding us hostage. You're our only hope of stopping that. I'll stop him, General. But I need to know where he is. That's where I come in. I just traced that hollow call we intercepted from the Black Sun base. Tarnas was communicating from down in Sector 439. Justicar territory. Tarnas knows we're not welcome there. Justicars are paramilitary vigilantes. Justicars are well trained and armed, but they don't concern me. It's the Sith Lord I'm worried about. You shouldn't face Tarnas alone. I may only be a Padawan, but I can help you. With this much at stake, two Jedi are better than one. May the Force be with you. I hate this place already. You just know this whole area is crawling with snipers. That's a nice skyline view. Explains why the Justicars settled here. This must be where the Justicars keep everyone they don't kill. Huh. Jedi, think the stars. I don't see a planet prison anywhere. That's not good. We've been such fools. Tarnas! He's a Sith! I've come to stop him. What happened here? Tarnas tricked us. Said your Jedi were going to shut the project down. Told us to bring the planet prison here. Keep it safe. Thought we were saving the Republic. 
we brought Taris the prototype. He turned on us and killed everyone. <laughs> Hang in there. I'll get you to a medical bay. No time. Taris has the planet prison. He'll use it. Prototype creates a massive heat signature when activated. Run a thermal scan. You'll find Tarnas. Save Coruscant! <laughs> Poor man. He didn't deserve this. I'll run a thermal scan from one of these terminals. Come on. Running a thermal scan. Oh, the technician wasn't kidding. Something's really lighting up. Tracking. Here we go. Sector 167, coordinates 8863. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The signal's coming from the ruins of the Jedi Temple. That Sith must be laughing himself silly. Talk about a sick joke. The Temple ruins are in a hazard zone called the Works. People go in, but don't come out. There's an old elevator down to the Works near here. Hope you're ready for anything, because that's about as much as I know. Can't you find out anything more about the Works? Let's just assume the file describes a lot of awful badness and leave it at that. I'm ready. Let's do this. Our robes are gonna smell like sewage and droid oil for weeks. The Sith sure did a number on this place. Can't believe they got away with it. I'm departing Coruscant now, Father. The planet prison deploys in minutes. The Republic will have no choice but to surrender. You turn to me as a hero of the Empire, my son. Our victory is complete. I wouldn't count on that. Have you come to die, Jedi? I don't die easily. Haven't you figured that out yet? Channel your rage, my son. Don't let this Jedi steal your moment of triumph. Jedi filth. Kills my son. There's no place in the galaxy to hide from my wrath. I don't fear you. Come find me whenever you like. My son's death will be avenged on the entire Republic. Tell your pathetic masters that Darth Andral has returned. This time, there will be no mercy. Such a charmer. I miss him already. The planet prison is officially scrap metal. Looks like we saved Coruscant. Couldn't have done it without you, Kira. Much as I'm enjoying these toxic ruins, maybe we should get back to the Senate Tower? Master Kuwix always says we're fighting for the people inside the tower, not the tower itself. But I'm alright fighting for a tower that amazing, too. The people in here decide the fate of the galaxy every day. Let's try to keep them alive. There he is. The hero of Coruscant. Welcome back, son. Coruscant is safe, but I had to destroy the planet prison and kill Tarnas. Yes, we've heard. Tarnas transmitted the details of all our top secret projects to his father. Traced that transmission to the planet Ord Mantell. I doubt Angrel's on that world, but his spy network certainly is. This mission is yours. I'm going too. Master Kuwix left me here to help. Agreed. Take Kira. Train and protect her like she's your own Padawan. It's an important responsibility. I won't take lightly. We'll get to know each other. It'll be nice. I must inform the Council of these developments. Travel safely, young Jedi. May the Force be with you. I already have one of our best starships waiting for you at the spaceport. Good luck. Come in, Coruscant Control. Requesting permission to launch. Permission granted, Master Jedi. Coordinates to Ord Mantell have been uploaded to your Navi computer. Good hunting. So, ground rules? Master Kuwix let me do whatever, as long as I wasn't in her way. Do what I do, and you'll be fine. We make it up as we go. Nifty. Question two? What's my job on the ship? Hate standing around, makes me antsy. It's a big ship. There's plenty of work. Do what comes naturally. Reprogram the computer to call me Master? Done. We'd better get moving. Let's go save the galaxy. General, I've arrived at Ord Mantell. Perfect timing. 
I've just finished coordinating things with my man on the ground there. SIS agent Atau followed the enemy transmissions to a specific location planet side. He'll give you the full details. Your T-7 unit can interface with Darth Angrel's hyperspace data transceiver and download his communications. Take the droid with you. <laughs> Guess I'll be playing Dejarik against myself while you have all the fun. This sounds dangerous. I want Kira as backup, not T-7. I'm afraid there's no choice. The droid is essential to mission success. He's right. Scanning a hyperspace data transceiver is a little over my head. Besides, T-7 can handle himself. Good hunting. Barsuthra out. I've visited my share of seedy ports, but this one's the seediest. Just as well I'm staying behind. I'll make sure nobody steals our landing thrusters. Check out the spaceport while we're gone. If this place is as bad as you say, Darth Angrel may have a presence here. Wouldn't surprise me. I'll poke around and see what's what. Have fun down there. Agent Otal, Republic SIS. Welcome to Ord Mantel. What have you learned about Darth Angrel's operation here? It's on an island. When you find the hyperspace data transceiver, plug in your T7 unit and download everything you can from its logs. With any luck, we'll learn what Darth Angrel's been up to. We seen you. I have a bad feeling about this. So your master was here all along. Well played, Padawan. Your lies convinced even Darth Angrel. Put down that lightsaber and step away from my Padawan. Spare me your pathetic demands. I hold the power here, not you. Imperial Intelligence noticed this girl wandering the station and alerted my master. Darth Angrel came from 20 parsecs away for a personal interrogation. Unfortunately, we were led to believe you weren't here. Told them you were on Corellia. <laughs> Suckers. No matter. We have you now. Surrender. Unless you want your Padawan to die. He's lying. He can't kill me. Angrel's orders. Why does Angrel want you alive? Don't worry about me. Get rid of Lord Pompous here. I'll never understand what drives you Jedi to throw away your lives. You risk certain death to free this girl. Why? Some misguided sense of duty? This isn't about duty. It's personal. My, aren't you the interesting one? Pity you have to die. When I present Darth Angrel with your head, he'll be most appreciative. Don't take this the wrong way, but I've never been happier to see anyone my whole life. That goes double for me. That's, uh, interesting to hear. Anyway, we've got big problems. I'm glad you're safe, but I need to know what this was all about. Not much to tell. One second I'm watching smugglers haggle over spice, next thing I know the Sith have me. Angrel wanted to know everything about you. Threatened to kill me if I didn't answer all his questions. I'm sorry if he hurt you. Don't apologize. I knew what I was signing on for when we left Coruscant. We never got to the actual torture part. He was sending me to Dromund Kaas for that. You obviously didn't tell him anything useful. What kind of Jedi do you think I am? Angrel left with an Imperial Admiral to refit a battlecruiser. Sounds like they have some new weapon. Desolator? We should warn the General about this right away. Looks like Tarnas was combining all your weapon projects to create something codenamed Desolator. We believe Angrel's arming his battlecruiser with it. It's no coincidence I've lost contact with Agent Galen. The enemy is raiding our weapon research facilities to build that device. What about Master Orgus and Kiwix? Have they checked in? They went on calm silence after leaving Coruscant. They're due to check in soon. We can't let Darth Angrel complete this Desolator weapon, whatever it is. I need your help stopping him. Securing Nar Shadda is vital. There's another target just as important on Terrace. You have another super weapon on Terrace you didn't tell us about? I'd rather not say more until you're there. When you reach Terrace or Nar Shadda, contact me. And good luck. General, I'm on Terrace. I apologize for the secrecy, 
This involves someone the Empire would love to get its hands on. Tarnus was the lead scientist on our advanced warfare projects. But these technologies were all invented by Dr. Nassan Godera. Dr. Godera hates the Empire. So much so he quit in protest when the Republic signed the Treaty of Coruscant. Disappeared completely. We recently discovered he's hiding on Terrace. Reconnaissance discovered one of Godera's outposts in the swamp. After what you learned on Ord Mantell, we need that man's expertise. You are our best shot at finding Dr. Godera. I'll bring him back alive. Whatever it takes. Transmitting outpost coordinates. Good luck. Our Suthra, out. So this is what a dead city looks like. Feels like we're standing on an open grave. Ugh, this planet gives me the creeps. I keep expecting something awful to come shambling out of the swamp. I am Watcher One with Imperial Intelligence. Despite what General Varsuthra believes, I have known about this outpost for some time. Your imminent arrival forced me to take action. My mission is to protect the Empire from Dr. Gadara's weapons. I'm afraid I can't let you have him. I've known you were coming, analyzed your strengths and weaknesses in preparation. You defeated the fallen Jedi Bengal Maw to become a knight. You're an exemplar of your order. Either this guy reads minds, or he's got spies on Tython. He could have acquired this information from any number of sources. The point is, I have it. As fortune would have it, Dr. Gadara will be in my custody shortly. You've already failed. I don't intimidate easily. This isn't about intimidation, Jedi. It's about facts. I see my reinforcements are finally in position. Terminate him. Blasted imps. Death is too good for them. My designation is R.E.M. Zero. Dr. Gadara assigned me to this facility. Your maker is in danger. Can you tell me where he is? Watcher One reprogrammed this facility's tracking relays. Locating my maker requires repairing the central computer and resetting outdoor tracking relays. You fix the computer, and I'll reset the tracking relays. Then we can triangulate Dr. Gadara's location. Good luck, Jedi. Still can't believe we're trying to rebuild this planet. It's gonna take centuries. I think that's the Endar Spire. The Sith shot it down before they leveled Terrace. I finished resetting all the tracking relays. Is that central computer online? Affirmative. Triangulating Dr. Gadara's coordinates now. Triangulation complete. Transmitting the coordinates to you now. Stand down, Jedi. I'm afraid we both lose this contest. Dr. Gadara killed himself rather than be captured. It's a tragic loss. We are prepared to leave Taris without further violence. Wait, Jedi! These filthy imps are lying to you! My maker is not dead! Thought we destroyed that irritating machine. Now you both have to die. Critical damage. Circuits failing. Transmitting my maker's new coordinates to you now. Save him! Do not let my functions end in vain! Your main processor and memory circuits are intact. If there's a way to repair you, I'll find it. Do not fear. Dr. Gadara is unharmed. I painlessly rendered him unconscious and gently carried him to safety. That trick only works once. Next time, I'll be ready. There doesn't need to be a next time. We could continue this chase forever, but what a waste of resources. I suggest a compromise. Give me time to administer truth serum to Dr. Gadara. Once he reveals his secrets, he's yours. We'll both have what we want. I will purchase time for interrogating Dr. Gadara by offering you something of great personal interest. A Sith assassin is on Taris preparing to massacre a small Republic settlement. I can tell you where. Tell me how to save my people. I can only provide the location. How you stop your enemy is up to you. The Republic colonists have a temporary shelter near some ruins, sending the coordinates now. Good luck, Jedi. Welcome, Master Jedi. How did our humble settlement earn this honor? A Sith wants you all dead. I'm here to defend you. Sith? But why us? We haven't done anything. Since when do Sith need a reason to kill people? This is horrible. We're not prepared for this. Then you should not have come back to a world that is not yours. 
Taris belongs to the Sith Empire, now and forever. My pets are ready to play. Are you? You should feel honored to die at my hand. That Sith and her beast. If you hadn't been here, they'd have torn us to pieces. My parents told me stories of the Jedi when I was a boy. Now I know they're true. Glad we did this, but we need to wipe that smug grin off Watcher One's face, shall we? A base made of junk. Have to hand it to the pirates. They have perfect camouflage. Lord Angrel, my interrogation is complete. Transmitting my report to you now. Take Dr. Guldera to Droman Kars. I have plans for him. You never mentioned you were working for Angrel. What is this? Explain yourself, Watcher. To ensure mission success, I compromised with the Jedi. He's here for the Doctor. You compromised? With the Jedi vermin who killed my son? Watcher, bring me this filth alive. I will kill him myself. Respectfully, my lord. I am duty bound to honor our bargain. Don't trifle with me. I want that Jedi. Very well, Lord Angle. I apologize for reneging on our deal, but I have orders. You understand? I recommend you surrender. Despite your rank, you're still just a slave to the Sith. Being a good servant does not make one a slave. I'd think a Jedi would understand that. This is not the ending I would have chosen. Again, Darth Angrel underestimates you. Twenty years, I've avoided becoming a casualty of Sith madness. But an order is an order. Obligations are what shape our lives. We're not so different. For some reason, that's a comfort. Regardless, you are the victor here. How do you wish to proceed? Angrel will kill you for failing. You can't return to the Empire. Go. Find a new life in the Republic. What? I... Only a fool would question such a generous offer. I thank you. Perhaps our paths will cross again. Farewell, Jedi. Dr. Gadara, are you alright? The Imperials gave me a Class IV Truth Serum. Don't remember the interrogation, but I fear they learned too much. I suppose you plan to take me back to Coruscant? We need you, Doctor. The Republic is endangered. Perhaps it is time I returned. Finish the war, and wipe out the Empire for good. This Jedi never fails. Dr. Godera, you're looking well, all things considered. Agent, bring Dr. Godera to Coruscant immediately. You'll be needing his skills. Contact me from your ship. Our Sith were out. Then this is goodbye. You saved my life. It was my honor to help. This droid of yours helped track you down. Can you fix him? Let's see. Ah, Ramo. A bit worse for wear, but I think I can repair him. That droid's a hero. He deserves a second chance. Working on Remo will make the long flight to Coruscant more bearable. General, I've arrived on Nar Shadda. Still no word from Agent Galen? Negative. After Terrace and Orton Mantell, I fear the worst. I'll warn you now. Project there is... I should have ended it years ago. Conversations like this never end well. After the Empire's victory on Coruscant during the war, people were terrified. We looked weak, helpless. The Senate authorized research into science we had no business exploring. The Power Guard program was creating the ultimate soldier, one tough enough to fight a Sith head-on. The research facility operates in absolute secrecy. I don't even know where it is. Our operative has disappeared, and Agent Galen vanished trying to find him. I need you to coordinate with the Strategic Information Service. SIS headquarters is hidden on the promenade. You'll visit a merchant shop and use a secret turbo lift in the back to meet with Raiken. Promenade, shop, secret turbo lift. Got it. <laughs> I feel like a spy already. Transmitting the location coordinates and turbo lift security code to you. Good luck. Marsutra, out.
This is neutral territory for Republican Empire. No fighting allowed. <laughs> or so they say. That's the second field agent who's missed a check-in. Our network's under attack. Transmit alert level Omega to all field agents. See how many respond. The Jedi who eliminated Watcher One. Glad to meet you. I'm Bureau Chief Riken. Wish I had better news to report. Galen disappeared in the Nikto sector while pursuing a contact. Galen left coded progress reports at SIS dead drops all over the Nikto sector. Unfortunately, that whole area's gone hostile. Had to pull my agents out. You want those reports? You'll have to go in alone. Thank goodness. For a second I thought this might be too easy. I sent the Omega alert. Only half our field agents responded. I'm telling you we're compromised. We need to move this headquarters before it's too late. Darth Angrel is clearly targeting the SIS. Time to move. We'll wipe the computers and leave Narshada. Evacuating this facility is out of the question, and we have a mission to complete. Let's get some answers. Good luck. This is where all the bargain shoppers come. I wouldn't inspect the merchandise too closely. Chief Riken, I've downloaded all of Agent Galen's coded messages. Hmm. Playing that back now. Found our lead operative. Dead. He'd been tortured. The Power Guard data files are missing. No clues to the main facility's location, but the project was using refugees as test subjects. The recruitment center's my best shot at finding the main facility. I'm going in. Leaving the site's coordinates just in case. Galen out. Took guts going in there alone. The Sith have stolen the Power Guard project. I have to get it back. Good luck. Riken out. You'll be alright. I'm here to help. Chief Riken. No sign of Agent Galen. But I've just freed some refugees. Not refugees. Heroes. Over the years, hundreds of people volunteered for the Power Guard experiments. Tell me what happened here. Imperials stormed inside. They control the whole project now. Tell me where the Power Guard experiments take place. Never seen the main lab, but it's someplace in the red light sector. That's one of the busiest parts of Nar Shada. I've heard it's the only building with a dedicated energy reactor. Does that help? Absolutely. I'm in the red light sector. If the Power Guard facility has a dedicated reactor, it's immune to energy fluctuations affecting the power grid. All you have to do is cause some fluctuations. Applying a lightsaber to the right power conduits ought to do the trick. Sending coordinates to key power conduits. Riken out. You're not like most Jedi. That's a compliment. I hear this is where you buy all the best technology. Some of it's even legal. Only one building in the sector maintained a steady energy supply when you disrupted those power conduits. Sending coordinates now. How will you play this? I'll give the enemy an opportunity to surrender. If they don't take it, that's their problem. You're in for a hell of a fight. Here goes nothing. Contact me when it's done. Riken out. We've been waiting for you, Jedi. Darth Angrel told me you defeated Watcher One and Inquisitor Farav. Impressive. Explains why you're not here. Scared, huh? Even my Padawan is laughing at you. You must be so embarrassed. You killed good men at that recruitment center. Loyal soldiers. The best. You soldiers, lay down your weapons. I promise you'll be treated fairly. More than you deserve. I promised Commander Grawl he could execute you personally. And I left him a few gifts to help. We're too late, Riken. Darth Angrel's apprentice raided the lab. I found an encrypted data pad on an Imperial officer. Bring the data pad back to headquarters. My slicers will crack the decryption. Hurry. I warned him. I told Raiken this base was compromised. The Chief's dead. They're all dead. With Raiken dead, I'm acting Bureau Chief. This operation's over. Agent Diaz, we're leaving now. Sorry, friend, but you're on your own. You don't want to leave. You want to see this through. I don't want to leave. We should see this through. Oh, so it's alright for you to mess with people's heads? We don't have time to reason with him. Give the Jedi anything he needs. Carry on. I know what a mind trick is. 
Don't do that to me. Hand over the data pad. Decryption complete. I recognize these coordinates. An Imperial controlled factory on the industrial level. I mark the enemy's fallback position. Good luck down there. You shouldn't have come. You'll make me hurt you. Agent Galen? What happened to you? When I resist, the pain. He's here. Nothing more irritating than a Jedi who won't die. Your former ally will be your executioner. No. I'd rather die. Control Factor 6 initiated. Stop. I'm... I'm in control. All that damage you did finally spread to the neural overrides. Tell me how to free you from the Sith's control. I don't matter anymore. The Sith Lord. Lord Static has the Republic's Mark III power guards. Static plans to build hundreds more, all controlled by him. Static's building his army in Shadow Town, an Imperial-controlled sector. I'll give you the coordinates. There must be a way to free you. Free me? From this? Even without Static controlling me, I won't live like this. Beg the stars you don't see me again. I don't like the sound of that. We'd better hurry and find this base. For a place called Shadow Town, it's surprisingly well lit. Maybe the name refers to the residents. If you think this sewage dump is bad, the real trouble's waiting on the other side. Mark III's are tougher than I thought. Not much left of me, is there? Galen, these wounds. There's nothing we can do for you. Find Zack and destroy the Power Guard project. I've got no regrets. You're strong to have made it this far, but not strong enough. I am more than Sith now. He's tall. I'll give him that. A shame you'll never understand what true power feels like. We narrowly escaped a major disaster, General. I know you're probably exhausted, but the enemy hasn't given up. Neither can we. Major tactical advantages just opened up, but you have to act quickly. One of Darth Angrel's closest advisors, Admiral Hacklin, asked us for asylum. He wants to defect. Hacklin was with Angrel when he interrogated me on Ord Mantell. They seemed chummy. What changed? Not sure, but the Admiral is on the run. There are unconfirmed reports Hacklin's earned a death mark. One of Darth Angrel's top men turned traitor? It's too convenient. Exactly. This is obviously a trap. Until we know otherwise, we have to believe this is real. Thera obviously made an impression on the Admiral at Ord Mantell. He says he'll only surrender to her. I have a bad feeling about this. There's no time to negotiate. Admiral Hacklin's expecting you to, and no one else. I told him to wait for you at an old asteroid mining facility. Be careful out there. Greetings. I am Vallis. Your quick response is most appreciated. Please forgive the deception. Admiral Hacklin remains Darth Angrel's faithful servant. His name simply made this meeting convenient. He's a Sith! Kill him! <laughs> now, really, is that any way to treat your family? Family? Kira, you know this man? Don't listen to him. He's trying to confuse you. Us. Your Padawan isn't who you think. She's no Jedi. She's a child of the Emperor, like me. And it's time she returned to our father's warm embrace. Kira is my Padawan. If that were true, I'd know it. Deception comes easily to our family. The dark side runs strong in us. I'm not a Sith. Don't let him turn you against me. We can defeat him. Together. We have no quarrel, Jedi. Return to your ship and let Kira come home. The Emperor wills it. It doesn't matter where she came from. She's my Padawan. Tell our father not to expect any calls or letters. There's no escaping your destiny, Kira. Thanks to your little brush with Darth Angrel, the Emperor knows you're alive and where to find you. No matter where you go, Father sees you. He sees you right now, and he wants you back. I'd rather die than see him again. 
So be it, sister. Thanks for sticking by me. I know this was a big shock, but I can explain. My parents were Sith, but the Emperor isn't my father. Child of the Emperor is just a title. I was taken from my parents when I was a baby. Raised in the Sith Academy with others like Vallis. It was... brutal. Why raise you in the Sith Academy? What were you being trained for? About what you'd expect? Learn how to kill Jedi and do other horrible things? I can only imagine the pain you must have endured. Pain became normal. There were worse things. Every so often, the other children were taken to see our father. They came back different. Nobody ever remembered meeting the Emperor. One day, I realized I couldn't remember anything from the past week. They were doing the same thing to me. Whatever the Sith did, it's buried in your memories. We have to uncover it. I've tried. Every time I get close to the memory, it changes. It slithers away. You escaped the Sith, didn't you? Nobody treats me like a droid and gets away with it. I was still a child then. Small enough to stow away on a supply ship leaving Imperial space. Lived in lots of bad places until I met Master Coix. She brought me to the Jedi. Changed my life. Did you tell Master Coix about your past? No. How would I even begin? Uh, by the way, I was born a Sith. Is that a problem? I always knew sooner or later I'd have to come clean. Just hoped I could prove myself as a Jedi first. Now the Emperor knows where I am. The Sith will never stop hunting me. They'll take you over my dead body. I'm having a very inappropriate urge to kiss you. <laughs> but I won't. I'm ready to tell the truth. To Master Kowix, the Jedi Council, everyone. No more secrets. We should probably let the General know he's not getting his Admiral. The Admiral was never here, General. This was a trap. Last. I'm sorry for putting you in harm's way on a lie. It won't happen again. I'm afraid there's more bad news. Your Jedi Masters both missed their last two comm checks. That isn't like Master Kowix. What planet did you send her to? Tatooine. Master Orgus went to Alderaan. I need you to find out what's happened to them and our weapon labs. Understood, General. But first, I need to consult with the Jedi Council on an important matter. More important than saving the galaxy from Darth Angrel? I'd like to know what that is. Sorry, General. Jedi business. Fine, if that's how you want to play it. Angrel's still up there. May the Force be with us all. Barsuth, we're out. Let's get this over with. Master Quix and Orgus need our help. I'll be meditating in my quarters. Let me know when we're at Tython. Master Satil, my mission has become more complicated. Masters Orgus and Kawix have disappeared. I'm headed for Tatooine and Alderaan to find them. But first, my Padawan has something important to tell you. Kira? I was born on Droman Cause. My parents were Sith. Ooh, much easier the second time. There's more, obviously. I should hope so. Give me time to assemble the Council. Most of us are still off-world. And then my master convinced me to come here and tell you. That's pretty much everything. We've heard rumors about these children of the Emperor before. But this finally confirms their existence. Troubling that we never sense the truth about Kira when Master Kuix brought her to us. That makes her especially dangerous. She can't be allowed to remain free. Kira's master should have a voice in this. What do you recommend? The situation doesn't require a reaction. I just thought you should know the truth. And now that we know, we can't ignore the threat she represents to our entire order. To allow her to remain a Padawan, become a Jedi Knight? It's inconceivable. Is it? Did we not first learn of the children of the Emperor from a Sith turned to the light? Master Braga speaks the truth. No one is beyond redemption. It was natural for you to fear our reaction, considering your upbringing. What's important now is that you leave your past behind and devote yourself to the Jedi. Can you do that? I've been trying to ever since Master Quix found me. Kira's a good Padawan. I trust her with my life. There you have it. I need no further proof of Kira's loyalty. Agreed. And I believe the best course of action is to leave Kira where she is. This is a mistake. If Master Kawix were here, 
She'd tell you the same. Until she returns, this council's ruling stands. Kira is safest in your care. I appreciate you giving her another chance. I promise I'll make you all proud. Even you, Master Caden. You did well bringing this to us, but you should return to your mission. May the Force be with you on Tatooine and Alderaan. Don't think I didn't notice the risk you took by standing up for me. I never felt this close to Master Kowix. Your support was... special. Anytime. I'm just glad we're staying a team. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. Ready to go whenever you are, Master. Ever wonder who you'd be if the Jedi hadn't taken you in? Imagining alternate paths only takes one out of the moment. Jedi should always remain grounded in the present. People say Jedi lack creativity. Can't imagine why. I was born to be a Jedi Knight. I could never be anything else. Life's a straight line, huh? That's very... you. I should be dead or worse a thousand times over. The first months after I escaped Korriban? <laughs> Exciting. Not easy staying alive when you're a ten-year-old Sith fugitive. No friends, no food, no home. It never occurred to you to seek out the Jedi Order? Run to my mortal enemies seemed like a bad plan. Leaving Korriban sounds hard enough. How'd you manage that? Helps if you're small. A head for Imperial transport schedules doesn't hurt. One day, a big freighter dropped off slaves and left with a stowaway. Jumped ship on Nar Shadda. Spent eight years sleeping in alleys. Good times. Finally got caught stealing a starship hyperdrive. <laughs> Should have seen Master Koik's face. I wondered how you two found each other. Stealing from a Jedi. That took some fortitude. Didn't know she was a Jedi. Lots of people wear robes. Hyperdrives aren't much good without a starship. Flying's hard. Taking stuff apart and selling it? Easy. Still remember when Master Kuix realized I was Force-sensitive and asked me to be her Padawan. It was... weird. Nobody ever gave me a choice before. Still getting used to that. If the Empire conquers the galaxy, freedom will be the first casualty. Along with Ball, Mom, and Sweet Flatcakes. I get it. When did Master Kuix recruit you? A couple of years ago. Point is, I know what I'd be if I weren't a Jedi. And I'm never going back. General, I'm on Tatooine. Has Master Kuix reported in? As we heard, Kuix secured our weapons research facility. She's missed every comm check since then. Dr. Godera will brief you on the weapons project. Doctor? The research facility on Tatooine has created a device codenamed the Shock Drum. The weapon discharges massive ultrasonic vibrations into the ground. The shock drum eventually disrupts the planetary core. When we discovered this potential, we immediately stopped testing. However, there's a fully operational shock drum prototype at our facility. With no word from the facility or Master Kuix, we must assume the worst. I sense Master Kuix through the Force, but it's faint. I think she's dying. Control your emotions, Kira. Don't give in to fear. I'm not afraid, but she can't die. I owe her too much. Can you feel her surroundings? Where is she? Not sure. Somewhere dark. It's taking everything she has to stay alive. Our facility is located in a remote part of the desert. I'm transmitting the coordinates. Good luck. Barsuthra, out. A Jedi? Seabrick, I told you help would come. Glad to help. Have you come to protect the shock drum, like Master Kawix? What happened to her? She defended us against Imperial soldiers led by a Sith. She fought bravely, but the Sith was stronger. I assumed he was going to kill us all. Instead, he captured Master Kawix alive and ignored us. The Sith and his soldiers took Master Kawix and the shock drum prototype into the desert. I just detected the shock drum's locator beacon. The weapon has been activated. Pinpointing the shock drum's exact location from here is impossible. I feel Master Kuix reaching out to me. Something terrible is happening to her. At least we know she's still alive. She doesn't have long. Take the ultrasonic scanners. Place them at these map coordinates. We'll contact you by hollow once we've triangulated the shock drum's location. Good luck. I placed the scanners. Do you have a fix on the shock drum? It's beneath an abandoned mining complex. I'm sending the coordinates and the shock drum's deactivation code. Greetings, Jedi. I am Lord Praven. I know you've located the weapon, but 
but that won't be enough. I changed the deactivation code. I will destroy you personally. Come, face me. I await you at these coordinates. The other Sith I fought were full of hatred and arrogance. And you, I sense regret. My family is true Sith. I welcome the end of your kind. The Jedi obsession with my people's extermination must end. Die well, Jedi. Impressive. Darth Angrel commanded me to destroy the shock drum code. He wanted you to die in failure. I will not tarnish my honor with petty tricks. The code is yours. Darth Angrel ordered that Master Kuix suffer greatly before her death. I wish I had disobeyed that order as well. I left her incapacitated next to your weapon. The ultrasonic vibrations will eventually tear her apart. You scum! You should die like that! There is nothing more to say. I'm too wounded to aid you, but I will surrender to your people. Now hurry! Save this planet! Ah, Tatooine. You never run out of ways to let me know I should be dead. I can't sense Master Kuix at all anymore. Quiet, finally. I can breathe again. I've been down here so long. Shh, Master, let us help you. I only survived this weapon by withdrawing into a deep trance. The Force itself became my armor. I know you faced terrible dangers for me. I will not forget that. Here you are. I was coming to help when sensors indicated the shock drum stopped. You did it. My friends, the danger is not yet past. Even deactivated, that weapon remains a threat. This technology can't fall into the wrong hands again. Let's collapse the cavern network with explosives. I will see to the shock drum. You should return to your ship and inform General Varsuthra what's happened. Master, you've just been through a terrible ordeal. Will you be all right? Do not concern yourself with my welfare. I am still a Jedi. Before we go, you need to know something. And I'd rather you hear it from me. I never told you about my childhood. I'm not who you think I am. So much about you is now clear to me, Kira. But you're wrong about one thing. You are exactly who I think. A strong, capable young woman. One day, you'll be a great Jedi. If you could see what she's accomplished, you'd be proud. We'll meet again on Tython. May the Force be with you. General, Doctor, good news. Master Kawix and Seismologist Heron are safe. Let's hope your mission to Alderaan goes as well as it did here. Varsuthra out. You're not like most Jedi. That's a compliment. No offense to the Council, but if I stood around moralizing all day, I'd need a padded zero-G cell. That's why you and I get along. We're not afraid of diving into trouble. Trouble's only a problem if you can't handle it. Jedi need to get out more. Using the Force? It's fun. Mind and body supercharged. Everything's more intense. The Force makes us strong, but it can also tear us apart if we don't use it wisely. We do what we must to protect others, Kira. Any personal benefits are incidental. The Jedi Code exists for a reason, Kira. Indulging our passions is a risk. Bottling up our feelings? Even riskier. You enjoy moralizing as much as the Council. Too bad. What are you so afraid of? I like intense experiences. What about something that's already intense? A uh, kiss, for instance. Some experiences are downright explosive, if you do them right. Should probably get moving. Galaxy in peril and all that. General, I'm on Alderaan. Have you heard from Master Orgus? Megan, Alderaan's a war zone. My people developed a death mark weapon to end this conflict with surgical precision. It marks targets with a microscopic tag. Once a target is marked, the laser can hit it from any range. I fear efforts to guard the weapon have failed. Master Orgus's last transmission came from Organa Palace. After that, nothing. Count Alda was the last to see Master Orgus. He co-funds the Deathmark project with us. You'll find Count Alda at the embassy near Organa Palace. Good luck. Marsuthra out. The Organas sure know how to build a palace. 
Folks on Coruscant must be jealous. Decorating this place must have cost a fortune. Those statues are made with real erodium. No wonder the Empire wants this place. Count Alda, I'm an associate of Master Orgus Din. I'm here about the Deathmark project. Elena, tell the Jedi what you told me. I worked at the Deathmark research facility. We were conducting routine tests when Imperial forces breached our security doors. We sent a Jedi Master to protect your facility. Was he there? He saved my life. Before anyone knew what happened, a single Jedi wiped out all the Imperial troops. Way to take care of business, Master Orgus. I'm sorry, but the Jedi... He didn't survive. The Sith was deadly. He surprised your friend, stabbed him in the back. It was horrible. There was nothing you could have done. Thank the stars you survived to give us this news. The Sith now controls the death mark. No telling who he's targeted. I can pick up the Sith's trail at the research labs. It's blasted dangerous. Wynn Organa is organizing peace talks with the other houses. It's possible the Sith... That was the Deathmark laser! It killed Count Alda! It happened so fast. I never felt the danger. Have to get out of here! It's not safe! We're all gonna die! The Count! You there! Hands up! Men, take their weapons! Lock down this building! We didn't kill him. We're here to help. Back against the wall, and put your hands up! Lives are in danger. You'll do anything to help me save Alderaan. Lives are in danger. I'll do anything to help you save Alderaan. Men, secure the building. I'll contact Organa Security and inform them of the situation. Here are the coordinates to the research facility. What's left of it. I hope you find something useful. Take care, Master Jedi. Those giant mounds are Killick nests. Anytime you see one of those, keep your lightsaber handy. Hey, what took you so long? Sorry, Master. All the speeders were taken. You've looked better, Master. Sure you're alright? I've looked worse, Kira. I'll be fine. Blasted Sith almost killed me. It was all I could do to save Dr. Parvix. You alright, Doctor? Don't worry about me. The Death Mark is in enemy hands. You must warn Count Alda. The Count was just killed by the Death Mark. The targeting device was taken to Organa Palace. Have you met a woman calling herself Elena Hark? There was a survivor from this facility with Count Alda. We're the only survivors. The girl's an assassin. She helped the Sith steal the Death Mark, and now she's targeting people with it. Several power stations supply the laser. Deactivating them would take the laser offline, at least temporarily. I'll get Dr. Parvix to safety. You deactivate the laser's power stations. We'll head to the closest Republic-friendly camp. Meet us there. I deactivated the laser's power stations, but dozens of innocent people are targets of the Death Mark. We need to end this before he brings that laser back online. This is Wynn Organa, chief negotiator of the peace talks to end this war. There's more bad news. Elena fled Organa Palace after you left. My spies report a woman matching her description entered House Thule's compound. Duke Thule openly advocates the peace process. What if the Sith want to silence him? If Duke Thule is killed by a Republic secret weapon, the peace process will never recover. Hate to say it, but our best bet is to storm in there and stop a landing. You're in charge of recovering the death mark from House Thule. I have my own mission. There's only a few places Angle's Apprentice could be operating from. I'll contact you when I've found our enemy. May the Force be with you. Never get tired of the scenery here. Sometimes I almost understand what all the nobles are fighting over. That's what's left of the Elysium. Alderaan's leaders used to settle disputes there peacefully. Shame to see the place like that. Be reasonable, Duke. Lord Nefarid wants what's best for House Thule. That woman isn't your ally. She's marking you for death. It's a trick. Organa sent him to kill you. Be warned. I am prepared to kill you. Lord Nefarid trained me to fight a Jedi. What about two Jedi? Guards, defend the Duke. If you must kill me, at least tell me why. The Jedi isn't here for you, fool. You're both dead. If you're hoping to remove that mark on you, 
Don't. I've just rendered the targeting device non-functional. Blasted woman is doomed us both! <gasps> I knew it would be wise to keep tabs on that Sith. He's using a mountain bunker as a base. I'll give you the coordinates. Master Orgus, Darth Angrel's apprentice is targeting me. I'm on my way to his stronghold. Where are you? I've been hunting Darth Angrel, and I just found his cruiser. It's about to jump for hyperspace. This may be our only shot at stopping him. I'm boarding that cruiser. Just wanted someone to know. In case. May the Force be with you. Orgus out. Blasted Imperials, their architecture really clashes with the rest of Alderaan's decor. Well, well. The Jedi who killed Talus back on Coruscant. You're done, Sith. You truly are a stubborn one. The Death Mark was destroyed. How disappointing. But I suppose all good times must end. My master is transmitting the most amusing hollow message right now. You really should watch it with me. Assaulting my cruiser alone. Very careless of you, Augustine. Pity you didn't bring your students. I could kill you both. Tell me, Jedi. Are you afraid to die? There is no death. There is only the Force. If there is no death, where is my son? No! And now I'll finish you. You're done! The death mark has been destroyed. Your people are safe. I will inform Organa Palace immediately. We are forever in your debt. Farewell, Master Jedi. We should head back to the ship. Tell General Varsuthra about Master Orgus. General, the death mark has been destroyed. And I have news about Master Orgus. Darth Angrel broadcast Orgus' execution over the holonet. Left the body floating in space for us to find. I'm sorry. You were friends a long time. Not many of us left from the old days. He was the best. He sacrificed himself for a purpose. Somehow, he planted a tracking beacon on Angrel's cruiser without the Sith realizing it. Every time Angrel's ship drops out of hyperspace, we know where. We just picked up the tracking signal in the Euphrates system. I'm scrambling the fleet, but you're closer. My ship isn't equipped to fight a battle cruiser, but I'll think of something. Any damage to Euphrates' food production could cripple the Republic. One warship can only destroy so much. Tell that to Terrace. Transmitting Euphrates' coordinates. Good hunting. No sign of Darth Angrel, but Euphrates. I saw this planet once, with Master Kawix. It used to be green. General, I've arrived at Euphrates. There's no sign of Angrel, but the planet. See for yourself. Euphrates' atmosphere looks like it's on fire. What could have done that? Damage consistent with designs recovered on Ord Mantell, the Desolator weapon. Horrific. Euphrates had millions of citizens. Whole continents of farmlands. All that life extinguished. The scale of this is... it's unthinkable. Getting an emergency transmission. It's faint, coming from the far side of the planet. Republic Vessel, do you copy? This is Medical Frigate Daybreaker. We're under attack. It's one of ours. The crew may know what happened here. No more of our people die today. Kira, plot an intercept course. Already done, Master. Strap yourselves in. That was the last of the Imperials. You're safe now. Not a minute too soon. Those commandos weren't taking prisoners. I still can't believe what happened to Euphrates. Flames consumed the planet. Everything turned to smoke and ash in seconds. Captain, look at this. Our sensors detect faint life readings on the planet's surface. Possible survivors. If we go down there, we can provide food, water, shelter, and medicine. It's our duty. The energy field surrounding Euphrates will destroy your ship's engines. You won't be able to leave. You could hold out a long time in this ship. Long enough for the Republic to make Euphrates safe again. We're the only hope those people have. Every second counts. Render aid to anyone you find. I promise you won't be abandoned down there. 
Thank you for doing what's right. I'm transmitting our sensor logs of the attack to your ship. Please give them to the Republic High Command. I rescued the Daybreaker, General. I have sensor logs of Angrel's attack. Transmitting sensor logs now. We're getting another emergency alert from Typhon. Relaying it now. Under attack by Darth Angrel. Launching defense fighters. Angrel's battlecruiser deploying energy weapon. Our ship can't escape Python's atmosphere. We're trapped. The Republic fleet's in hyperspace. By the time it's redirected to Typhon, it'll be too late. The Desolator needs time to work. You could board Angrel's battlecruiser. Disable the weapon before it fires. Contact us when you're aboard Angrel's warship. General, we're inside Angrel's battlecruiser. Yes, I knew you could do it. Now to end that Sith for good. My team's moving out. We'll save Tython, or die trying. Your signal's breaking up. May the... Angrel's jamming our transmissions. He's coming for us. You will not steal my victory. Not now. I have sacrificed too much for this. I will avenge my son. Today I forge a new era for the Sith. One where the Jedi are finally extinct. Finish this, Angrel. I command it. With pleasure, my master. What... what was that? I felt... the Emperor... You are his child. His eyes, his ears. His weapon to command. Come, child, fight by my side. It's where you belong. I'd rather jump out an airlock naked. I can handle Angrel. Get yourself to safety. There's no place safe from him. I won't leave you. Kira, fight the Emperor's control. Remember who you are. I feel him in my thoughts. We have to end this fast. If you will not serve, you will die. For Tarnis. Angrel's dead, and this battlecruiser's not far behind him. Disappointing. Angrel was useful. This child must learn her place. And so will you. Leave Kira alone. If you want to fight, face me in person. That is unnecessary. I see futures in you. Futures I will not allow. Your future ends here. Whatever you are, you won't win. This child is unfinished, weak. I will make her strong. Now you will die. Even if my child must die with you. No, I won't kill for you. You're stronger than the dark side. Push it back, I'll help you. You already did. The dark side has no power over me. I am a Jedi. He's gone. I won. I'm finally free. Your life is your own, Kira. And I have you to thank, Master. What was it like under the Emperor's control? Were you aware of our duel? All of it. I was in my head the whole time, like a prisoner. The ship's coming down on top of us. Let's get out of here. Thank the Force you're alive. Good to see you, Master Satil. Everyone safe down there? We are now, thanks to you. Please come to the surface. Bring your Padawan to the Council Chambers. We all have much to discuss. Welcome home. The Jedi owe you a debt of gratitude we can never repay. Only wish Master Orgus could share in this victory. I'll honor his legacy to the end of my days. We all will. We've lost one of our noblest masters. But in his place stands a Jedi without equal. And you, Padawan. I knew you'd remain true to us. I see no reason why we shouldn't make Kira a full-fledged Jedi Knight. I agree. 
My troubled former Padawan has matured into a fine Jedi. The Emperor himself couldn't turn her. I saw it myself. The Emperor? You didn't think to mention his involvement sooner? It's a long story, but the upshot is, I'm a Jedi. And I always will be. You've earned our trust, Kira. You deserve recognition of that. As leader of this council, it's my pleasure to promote Kira Carson to the rank of Jedi Knight. You mean it? It seems only fair. You did help save the galaxy. So this is what it feels like, being respectable. The danger to Tython is over. We're getting fresh reports of hostilities all over the galaxy. Another war with the Empire seems inevitable. Darth Angrel was the spark that lit the flame. Even in failure, he inspired the Sith to violence. But he also forged our greatest weapon against the darkness. The Force has shown me what lies ahead. The futures of many rest on your actions. You will decide the fate of the Jedi, the Republic, the galaxy. I'll defend the Republic to my dying breath. May the Force be with you. With all of us. That whole Jedi aren't allowed to feel emotions rule? I don't get it. Sure, anger's bad. Why cross off everything else? Anyone tell the troops they can't enjoy shore leave? Would we have a government if senators couldn't throw wild parties? Soldiers and senators can't use the Force. Jedi who let their emotions lead them to the dark side can cause tremendous damage. So? Bad soldiers can sabotage a whole army. Bad senators could do even worse. At least Sith are allowed to indulge themselves once in a while. In the Empire, indulgence means a license to ravage, but you get my point. We're expected to throw ourselves into the fire? Fine, let us off the leash. No reason we can't live it up a little before we die. You could start any time. Or do you like talking more than doing? You asked for it. See? I'm all about the doing. To be continued, tough guy.